Okay, this one is about a Kiwit, so I hope I didn't butcher up the name. HT100S voltage detector. Okay, this is a standard old low voltage detector that, uh, you know, does pretty much what everything, uh, what all these things do. Uh, a couple of cool things about it. Uh, there we go. Have to hold that down a little bit. Okay, flashlight comes on. Okay. Another little thing it has, it has a percentage right there at the bottom of that. When it's turned on, the percentage thing goes up the closer you get. Because this is a non-contact voltage detector. It does not need to connect to, you know, physically or electrically connect to a, uh, a hot wire. So it'll just it'll start beeping and then it'll beep faster and faster and faster the closer it gets. Uh, it also has here you can go with 70 to uh, one kilowatt or one kilovolt, or you can go to 12 volts. Okay, if you press a little S, you can see it has a 70 to one kilovolt. At 70 volts, one kilovolt. I don't use that. Uh, I don't think it's sensitive enough. Usually I'm doing 120 volt outlets and it's not that sensitive. Uh, so I set it to 12 volts to one kilovolt. Now, this is an AC detector. This will not detect DC. This is only for AC circuits. Now, that just kind of explains how this little guy works. Uh, the rest of this video is going to be at how you use these things. Because this thing works fine. It does everything it's supposed to do. I don't see any problem with it. Uh, I will say before I get started, I don't generally put 100% trust in these things. I don't know that they've ever failed me, but... If I have an open box and I'm checking for voltage in there, I'll check with that thing first. But before I stick my hands in there, I'm putting a voltmeter on it. You know, I'll just take a, a multimeter and, uh, and check voltage with probes. Uh, it's just the way I do it. Uh, it's just one extra step to keep me from getting electrocuted. So let's see what it's like to, uh, to test with this thing. Okay, I'm going to take a reading inside this uh, outlet. Now, the American stuff, this is all about American stuff. I'm the only one, uh, that's the only stuff I got, so. Uh, okay, it has a wide, in fact, this one's a little different, but it has a wide probe, or a hole, and a skinny one. Okay, the wide one is going to be neutral. It's not going to read with this thing. It's not going to read anything at all. At least it shouldn't, unless it's wired backwards. So let's take this and put it through here, see what happens. Now you can hear the thing is beeping. Uh, it's showing about 10%. It's going to scream bloody murder when it's right on a wire. This has to go in farther in order to get close. But it's showing you there is power there. I put it down here, I get nothing at all. Okay. Uh, other ways this thing can be used. This cord, and it's showing 2% or something, and on, okay, if it's real close, it's hard to get it that way, but, but it will tell you if that cord's hot. That's another way you can use it. You can do it on conduit, but almost never get anything. There's a little tiny bit in the back there. If I wanted to check a box like this, I'm going to go in here. Here's the power coming in. Now you can see it's screaming bloody murder. It goes up to 100%. Uh, 
other side's doing the same way because this is a 240 volt box. Now, occasionally they'll show something on the outlet, and this shows a little bit, but I don't know why it does that. It is dead. I've checked it with a meter, it's dead. If I turn this on, then it's going to go nuts again. It goes up to 100%, all that sort of stuff. Other ones you could use it for here. That one's showing 99% right there. Uh, so yeah, you can check wires with these things. If I go up here to the ground, I better not get I better not get it gets anything. Now it's beeping here. That's because it's close to this. Okay, so good tool to to have in the box. Uh, quick check for voltage. Only AC. Non-contact voltage detector means it does not have to contact any hot leads in order to work. And that's it on this one.